Why aren't people giving Volkanovski a chance? I'm one of those people who are right now saying this is the key way that Volkanovski can beat us on Makachev. And let's break it down. The calf kicks. If Volkanovski utilizes those calf kicks, man, on Islam in the beginning of the round, I'm telling you, that's gonna affect Islam's ground game. The shoot, the trip, and the clinch, it's gonna affect him. And it's gonna affect him bad. Islam's gonna wanna get in that clinch and trip Volk with his judo and his sambo. It's, it's, it's hard to shoot on a smaller guy when you're bigger than him. You know, Islam is stronger, but when it comes to the clinch, there have been guys in Thailand saying the, the toughest opponent they had in the clinch was Volk. All those people were saying Volk gave them the toughest challenges in there. If there's a guy on paper to beat Islam, undefeated in the UFC, Alexander Volkanovsky. Alexander Volkanovsky is that guy. The featherweight goat is going to be one to do it. And before people start saying I'm right enough Makachev, I'm not right enough Makachev. I got Makachev winning. He's going to win this, not by TKO. I don't see him getting a finish. I see him either getting the submission, you know, the submission in round three or two. If he doesn't, it, it's just a matter of if he gets the trip and takes him down, which he will. Because if Islam gets that takedown in the beginning, I'm sorry, I hate to say it, it's just a matter of time before the submission comes in or the where he gets the finish. If it goes to a decision, I favor Volk. But yeah, guys, I, I, I am team Islam on this. You know, I'm team Makchev. I think he's going to win. It's going to be the same result that he's been getting for the past of his fights. But that is just the key for Volk to win this fight. That is the only way he will win, in my opinion. People are riding him off, riding him off. Lucas Tracy, you're riding him off, man. I know you say he's fair, but you're riding him off completely. You're clearly, you're treating him like he's, like this is Jared Gordon versus Islam Makachev here. Guys, Volk will beat Islam Makachev in the pocket if they end up trading. Because when Islam goes for that clinch, Volk's going to get in the pocket there. Volk's stalking, Islam's going to come in and it's going to be a pocket trade. And even when they're in the clinch, that's when he has to utilize the knees to the body. Nobody likes taking a knee to the liver. And Volk in the clinch is dangerous. He's going to be dangerous in there with Makachev. People are underestimating it. But that's how it's going to be done. Look at look at, look at at the five resumes for people who are underestimating Volkanovski here. He beat Holloway three times. And then Ortega and Zombie along with that. Islam Makachev. Who he fought? Tiago Moises, Drew Dober, Bobby Green. Bobby was probably high that fight. I mean, come on, guys. Volk has the better five fights so far, and I and I honestly think it's a 50-50 fight. I think Islam's gonna win. I think he's gonna win. But Volk can win a decision if he keeps it how I said. Attack the calves, knees in the clinch, don't get in the clinch, keep it. Trade in the pocket with Islam. He's better striker on the feet. I think it's a given. Everybody knows that. But yeah, that's just my my little breakdown there. You know, this is different from the Fortnite content, guys, you know. We've leveled up a bit. Fort's fallen off. That was a couple of years ago. This is a whole new channel now. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, just comment down below. What are your thoughts? See ya.